CBS 4 Today got an inside look at how El Paso Animal Services works as it deals with animals across the city. CBS 4 at 530's Harrison Parker joins us live in the studio after spending the day with an animal services officer to learn what the job entails. That's right. I spent much of the morning watching animal services as they received calls from El Pasans who dial 311 and report injured pets and escaped animals. Now, the man I went with is one of 28 animal service officers in El Paso. He says they respond to roughly 32,000 calls a year. Take a listen. Calling in a uh, malnourished, thin boxer uh, in the area. Um, so we're going to go out there and try to patrol the area to see if we can locate this uh, sick and injured dog. So. Animal Services Field Supervisor Alberto Ortiz took me on a few of his calls today. The first was in search of an emaciated dog that led us to a car service station in central El Paso. One dog was tied up with a chain, so we'll be enforcing that. The only violation found with this call was the dog's chain link leash, finding him otherwise in good health. Um, as I write up a couple of tickets, I'm going to have him swap out that chain for a cable that he claims that he has back there. Um, I did address some of the confinement as well. He knows, he understands. Ortiz described some calls ranging from fishing out alligators from canals to having to subdue an emu. It's, it's difficult to catch these guys. They're so little and just so fast and, and they got a set of wings, I, which I don't. Our last visit was to track a runaway chicken. While these visits may not be dramatic, Ortiz emphasized a lot of their work is just picking up after owners who aren't responsible enough. Uh, I'm going to say a good 85 to 90 percent of the dogs that are running the streets of El Paso, um, they do have a home. They just either they lack pet owner responsibility on the owner's half or they just find, find a way to get out, you know, when, when the owners are at work. Ortiz, who grew like up that. working on ranches, um, said being around animals gives his job meaning. We'll place her in there. As a human being, and, and, and as you said, as a, as a ranch hand, um, it is it's disappointing, you know? Disappointing that we humankind, you know, take pets and animals for granted. Ortiz warned so prospective pet though. owners that being Let's uninformed is no excuse for negligence or abuse. Um, we're we're going to hold every owner responsible. Um, given the authority that we have. Um. Alberto Ortiz wants El Pasans to call 311 if they see an animal in harm's way or is a danger to others. He also spoke about the danger people can put themselves in when they approach an animal they do not know. Reporting from the studio, Harrison Parker, CBS4 at 530.